All right, this is Dark Bones, and welcome back to Let's Play Scooby Doo and the Cyber Chase. Welcome to part five. This part we're going to play the big city. One of my personal favorite areas, except for the first part of level one, is I'm kind of bad at it. Bad at controlling the skateboard. Same time I had to record this video, at least it's not. I stand corrected. It's starting to act a bit laggy again. And normally, this much lag is not a problem. The skateboard section runs kind of fast. And with one health left, yeah, I'm kind of screwed here. Oh, I actually made that. And I died there. Wow. The lag's starting to clear up a little bit. That is good. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I love the music in this area so much. It's so awesome. Then again, almost all the music in this game is awesome. Great, I've got two lives left. I just... Well, at least I got an extra try. That's also worth taking the hit. Alright, what I usually do is once I actually get the opportunity... No, 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 no! Aw, oh, crap, I missed the checkpoint. Okay, that, that's fine. Just do what I normally do and hope another checkpoint comes soon. Just hug the wall. Hug the wall, hug the wall, hug the wall. Unfortunately, when those trees are there, you kind of can't hug the wall, which means I actually have to play the level. Crap, I'm running out of health! Ah. Now I have to play the whole level again. Because I missed that checkpoint. Just stay in the middle. No, no, no! Bad idea, apparently. So you do have to move some. This level is being really hard. I still get skateboarding in this game. And my singing is terrible, also. So you got the checkpoint, but wow, really does me a lot of good here. I know, isn't this checkpoint so useful for me? Just look at how many lives I have. Look at how many extra chances I have. This is awesome. Another incredibly useful checkpoint. Life, 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 please. Li All right, I actually got that life. Thank goodness. So if I can make it to the end. Hug the wall, hug the wall, hug the wall. Ugh! Hug the wall, hug the wall, hug the wall. And I think I'm at the end of the skateboarding section, which is very good. I'm very unlikely to lose all my lives at this point. I'm very likely to die. That's only because I've got one health left. Please be a burger and... Well, it does me no good now, even if there is a burger in there. Well, now we're at the fun part of the level. We actually get to move around at our own speed, at our own pace. It's really nice. Really nice change of pace. Trust me. I am so bad at that skateboarding so Oh, I'm surprised that skateboard didn't say that on voice clip. It's really, really bad voice acting for the blue skateboarders. The red skateboarders don't say anything, though. Did you hear that? Get out of my way! It's so terrible! It's so terrible, it's hilarious! Yes, hot steam. Oop, wrong button. No, actually, why am I going to waste my time crawling under these? It's not really worth it. I mean, sure, I'm pretty sure you're safe from those things if you crawl, 
But the crawl is just so slow. The one part of the game that I remember that you have to use the crawl at is uh, coming up. It's in the next level, actually. Uh, maybe that's this one. Trying to get that uh, one up if you can't tell. There we go. There we go. I got it. I don't need that health. So, uh. Also, yes, I know the way that I'm going is a dead end, but I kind of want these Scooby Snacks. Even though I'm not going to get 100%. I don't know. I like to get these Scooby Snacks for whatever reason. It's probably something subliminal. I don't know. I just like to get them. The natural completionist in me, trying to fight my, uh. It's fruitless to try to complete this game 100% nature. I know that sounded kind of strange, but whatever. Seriously, though, it, it'd be so aggravating to, tr to get this game 100%. <laughs> uh, it's a pretty fun game, as I've said several times before. Don't get me wrong. It's just got very, very bad controls. And whatever, I can just tank it. Let's go to these Scooby Snacks! And upcoming is one of my favorite areas in the game, actually. There is, at least something I think of off the top of my head, only one level that I like more than that. Than I like more, uh, not that, but, you know, the level that's coming up. I don't know why I called it that, but whatever. Level 2 of the Big City! Go to level 2 of the Big City. I like level 2 of the Big City. Big and city like. Yep. Sneaking around an office building. That's security cameras. And uh, as far as I can remember, if you haven't noticed already, the crates or boxes or whatever you want to call them that hold items in them, they change for each world. Like a. Uh, you know, in World 1, it was those weird red things. I don't know what they would be called. World 3 had the dinosaur eggs. World 2 had the vases. Yeah, this one, this level is the, I mean, this world is, as far as I know, that I can think of off the top of my head, the only level that actually has two different ones. You know, the two different boxes. Box styles. You know, it's a nice little detail that you, uh, Probably did notice, but it's kind of cool that they put that in. Wow. Fail. Also, another cool detail that I wish they used more often in the game is also coming up in this level. Honestly, probably one of the reasons that I like this level so much. And I'll show you that in a bit. I'll give you a hint, it's not the conveyor belts. I mean, we already hit that, but, you know, those, those are cool, too. Don't get me wrong. But something that actually adds a little bit to the, you know, the little bit of storyline and plotline that this game actually has. That is really only mentioned at the beginning and never really referenced unless you actually listen to those things again. I think it's right through here. Yeah, you know how we're supposed to be chasing the phantom virus? Guess what? We caught up to him! Alright, now there are two ways you can uh, deal with him. You can just make it to the end of this hallway alive, or you can hit him with a pie. You know, just to make this part more challenging, I'm going to leave him alive. Oh, and also to show you a little flaw that uh, is in his programming when he leaves. Not really a flaw in the programming, but he just didn't really think the voice clipped through. Very well. Notice I just said lucky shot. He plays that when you hit him. But you make it to the end of the... You make it to the end of the uh, hallway. And when he goes away, he still says lucky shot. Uh, yeah, what did I shoot? What did I shoot that was so lucky, Phantom Virus? Whatever. He can say whatever he wants because his voice acting is epic. And I will listen to him say it because he is evil when he says it. 
I mean, come on, he has an awesome voice, you gotta admit. I mean, there are a few voices that I can think of off the top of my head, at least in video game voice acting, that are that good. I'm pretty sure they actually got the same voice as the, you know, the, the, um, the Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase movie, which is actually very cool that they actually did that. I didn't. I would have crouched and snuck through that if I knew my health was that low. But I didn't, so well. Yeah, the only voice acting that I can think of off the top of my head in a video game that is better and more awesome and epic is Dr. Eggman from Sonic Adventure. Oh my goodness, that is the most awesome voice acting in a video game ever he just makes everything sound so awesome and uh Eggman is far from an awesome character in my opinion but his voice in Sonic Adventure is just awesome every definition of the word Oops. sorry to stop the recording like that uh, no I had to get ready for bed and stuff. Yeah, I am recording this at a night. And, oh, I didn't know. I, real, I didn't realize it started from midnight, but whatever. <laughs> okay, that's pretty pathetic. I am being blocked by an invisible wall. It's been lifted down. The character has walked far enough towards me. Get out of here! And uh, this boss, this upcoming boss, the rest of the boss in the game, I actually forget how to beat. Yeah, that, that's not going to go very well. <laughs> there was one in the late game that I think was pretty easy. It may have been the Barney Wild thing of, but I hope this one's easy too. Oh, oh, now, now I, uh, I remember this part. You get tons of chances to hit him, but, uh, you kind of got to get lucky, you know, where, like, where he drops bombs. But other than that, he's pretty easy. Oh, man, that wasn't a chance yet? Crap. All right, got him, <laughs> got him on my second high toss. This is actually the, uh, first boss, like, oh, crap, no! See, that's the hard part of the boss, is bombs. It's actually the first boss that I had run out of pies on, apparently. Like, when the next chance comes, you will get more bombs, so don't worry. I mean, not bo more bombs, more pies. Don't worry. No, he has bombs, we have pies. Also, those explosion effects are pretty awesome. I will not lie. For oh, come on, that didn't count as a hit. That wasn't a hit. Dick! Almost didn't realize that a conveyor belt change. Yes! That was a very easy boss. On a scale of, um, easy to Kaizo, with, um, sorry, I said that wrong. On a scale of 1 to 10, from 1 being Iggy and 10 being Kaizo, that's like a 3. Actually, no, I stand corrected. Cloud and Candy's probably easier than Iggy, but whatever. And here's World Six, Egypt. World Six is pretty terrible. I'm not looking forward. Well, I'm both looking forward and not looking forward to doing this. Well, in any case, this is Dark Bones signing out. See you guys. Later.